My name is Otmar Klopp, I'm the Secretary General of the World Medical Association. My name is Cecil Wilson and I'm President of the World Medical Association. Thank you very much for the kind introduction. Today I am very honored to be together with you. 250,000 to 500,000 die every year in this world. Uh, from uh, influenza. I think influenza is a serious problem, well recognized. Not only do patients get influenza from other people they're around, they can actually get it from us as health professionals if we've not had the vaccination. And it is important that we take this protection not only for ourselves, but first of all to protect our patients and to protect our families. Because if we are not protected against the flu, we may be spreading the flu in our work environment. Because it is a serious disease and it's a disease that we call a paradox. It's a preventable disease that affects millions of people around the world, but it's not being prevented. And we feel that this global influenza campaign that WMA is launching will have hopefully a positive impact at the local level. Many patients with chronic conditions will have weakened immune systems um, and if they go to the hospital or they go to see the doctor, they don't want to be put at risk. One of the major reasons that healthcare workers don't get vaccinated is their fear of side effects. And that's actually quite surprising because um, there is much done that vaccines are safe. If we don't stay well, then we're not in a position to be able to provide good quality health care to the people who trust us for their medical care and advice. If your doctors or your nurses do not get immunized, I clearly see no incentive for yourself to be immunized. Sometimes healthcare workers have twisted risk perceptions. They think they don't get infected with influenza, this is wrong. They think they don't transfer it to other, pa to other patients or their families, this is wrong too. And the third twisted risk perception is that vaccination has side effects, this is wrong. It is more than just a bad cold. Although most of us get over it, some of us do not, and, and some of us are at more risk, and that's elderly patients, that's young children. We know the data, we know the impact of the disease. We have the vaccines available, but we have a serious problem in imp implementing them. And therefore, our member associations should take the opportunity to inform their members, making them aware that a yearly flu shot is crucially important to protect their patients and all of their families. It's very important for us to, to get help also uh, from uh, like international uh, NGOs or associations. They can tell you that a company like Sanofi Pasteur, we invested millions and millions to uh, uh, increase our production capacity to make the vaccine available to uh, countries who wanted to vaccinate their population. We have a special policy in our hospital we say the healthcare worker, you can choose. You can choose for the vaccination or you can choose to wear the mask. But we, but you have to do one thing is to protect the patients. For me, the takeaway message, and I think it's a really important one, is that the physicians have an ethical obligation to think about the patients they interact with. And getting a flu shot, preventing yourself from getting sick and making sure your patients are protected when they see you should be a no-brainer. I get vaccinated every year and have done for over 15 years. All of my partners at work do the same and so do all of my staff. The seasonal flu vaccine is one of the most affordable vaccines. We have a leading role, we are role models to patients. If we don't look after ourselves, we can't look after our patients. And that's really important that we get that right. So my advice to doctors is get your shot. <laughs>